protesters dressed as rats have dogged Ian McFarlane on his first day as CEO of the Queensland Resources Council, which represents the mining industry. They say the protesters that they smell a rat and there's a stink surrounding his appointment, as Mr McFarlane did previously work as Federal Resources Minister. It's a clear breach of the Ministerial Code of Conduct, which requires that ministers um, not lobby or advocate on behalf of an industry that they've been involved in in their portfolio for 18 months after taking office. He'll reportedly earn $500,000 a year while also taking home a parliamentary pension of $150,000 annually. Mr McFarlane says he doesn't take advice from people dressed as rats. The member for Groom, Ian McFarlane, was the Resources Minister who scrapped the mining tax. And I hope that the sector will acknowledge uh, and demonstrate their gratitude to him uh, in his years of retirement from this place. Our politics in this country have been captured by big polluters, big corporates and big money. While our government tries to cut taxes for big business, they're cutting unemployment benefits and handing out billions in subsidies to big polluters. Dirty donations and the revolving door between big money and big parties keep this whole sorry mess limping on. This motion is designed to jam up that revolving door. Former ministers will no longer be able to walk into lobbying jobs for the big end of town and expect to walk the halls of this building without scrutiny. Former ministers routinely ignore Prime Minister Turnbull's own non-binding code of conduct, but today we're seeking to give that code of conduct some teeth. To take our democracy back, we'll need a range of things, donation reform, a federal corruption watchdog, and actual binding standards on ministers, but this is a significant step in the right direction, and I urge the government to join with the others to support this motion.